In this activity, we will learn how to manipulate salt dough into a 3D water lily. This will tie in with the theme of the Impressionism artist, Claude Monet. Before watching this video, you will need to watch the previous video, How to Make the Best Salt Dough to ensure that you have your dough pre-prepared and ready to mould. Materials you will need for this activity are your previously made salt dough, the water lily leaf template downloaded from Firefly, a safe knife for cutting out your shapes, a board or tray to let your dough dry out on, a rolling pin, thick paint such as acrylic or poster paint, a paintbrush and some PVA glue or Mod Podge if you have some at home to add a glossy finish. As a side note, you may also wish to add a tea light for further decoration. To begin, you will need to roll out the salt dough to an even thickness. Mine is about half a centimetre thick here and put aside a little of the dough to make the lily pad. Take a small to medium sized plastic bowl and use that to cut out the lily pad shape. You can use a knife to add leaf lines and cut out a small triangle if you wish, but in hindsight most of the leaf will actually end up being covered by the flower anyhow. Next we need to transfer the lily pad to a tray. Spread a little flower over the surface of the tray to prevent it from sticking and use the edge of a knife to carefully peel back the lily to transfer it to your tray. With the leftover dough, roll it into three balls, one small, one medium and one large. Roll out the smallest ball evenly and aim to cut out six small leaf shapes using the small leaf stencil. Put these small leaves to one side while you cut out four medium leaves and four large leaves. Next, you need to arrange the large leaves into a cross shape, ensuring each time to press the center of the flower down so that the dough shapes will stick to each other. Once the large sized leaves are laid down, then it's time to add the medium sized leaves on top. Make another cross shape of the medium leaves, making sure that they fill the gaps between the larger ones. Finally, add the small six leaves on top of the medium leaves in the same position as shown here in the video. If you feel some of the larger leaves are too long, you may wish to trim them down a little bit until you're happy with the shape. Next, you can take a tea light candle and use it to press into the middle of the dough to make a small dent. Wiggle the candle a little from side to side to make more room for the tea light candle to sit in the dent so it can easily be removed later when needed. Here I used a wash of water with a paintbrush to smooth out the edges of the lily before letting it air dry for about three days. Do not be tempted to paint the dough before it has dried or the paint effect will become ruined and look messy. Once the dough has finally dried out and turned lighter in white colour, it is ready to paint. Start by painting a white undercoat of paint. This will allow the colours you add later on to appear much brighter. You should use thick acrylic paint or poster paint and it is advisable to have an image of a water lily close by so that you can try to match the same colours you see. Once the white layer of paint is dry, mix a little red with some white to make pink and apply it to the leaves focusing mainly in the centre. Next I use two different shades of green to give an accent to the lily and paint any parts of the lily pad that were peeping through from behind the petals. To finish I also added a touch of dark blue to some of these petals and painted the centre of the flower bright yellow and mustard yellow using a much smaller paintbrush. Once the paintwork dried I added a glaze of Mod Podge with a large clean brush. This gives a finished gloss effect. When your lily has fully dried, it's ready to carefully prise away from its tray using a very thin metal spatula or a metal knife. You will need to get an adult to help you with this bit. Now it's ready to take centre stage and brighten up any dark rings. We can sit together It's so beautiful